This was the iconic car of the, of the 80s uh, and into the early 90s. The S4 was the forerunner to this in the rallying terms. Uh, and then the S4 was the last of what they called the Group B rally cars, the monster rally cars. And this is what Lancia produced to take over from the S4. Um, and this took the World Rally Championship uh, by storm. Where does my passion for cars come from? Um, my dad, really. Uh, he was mad into cars. He was a rally driver in the 60s, uh, 70s, spent all his money on it, just drove anything and everything. Uh, so I was brought up at race circuits, rally circuits, all this sort of thing. Um, and so, yeah, it's sort of in the blood, really. Um, and I never really, never really thought about whether I wanted to get into cars and motor racing. It just it just happened. It was just a natural progression, really. I'd been tinkering with cars in, in my mum's garage for years, uh, taken a lot of cars apart in the early days, not managed to get them back together originally. But then as you get older, you learn a bit. And finally, I think I managed to get some projects finished. Uh, I did engineering at university. Um, and then, of course, with an engineering degree, it, the, the, the doors are wide open for the automotive industry. But I, I quickly knew that I didn't really want to design Ford car doors or rear light clusters or that sort of thing. I, I knew that I wanted to get into motor racing and motor racing was very different back then and it wasn't really seen as a mainstream option but I, luckily I, I had a good contact and uh, I managed to get my way into, into motor racing and uh, I've never looked back. Is there anything special about this car? This is iconic. Um, again, rallying background in the family, um, so I'd watch rallying um, all through the 70s, by which time I was 10, 15, all through that time before I was able to drive and then once I was able to drive I, I did a few sort of like uh, club rallies. Um, so again rallying was, was really my passion at the time. Uh, so again it's, it's the rallying pedigree that appealed to me. Um, this car was produced at about the time I was earning enough money to buy myself a car and honestly I probably couldn't afford this when I bought it but I just spent all the money I could on getting this car because I wanted one so desperately. You get in this and it feels basically like a roller skate. Uh, it's very harsh, uh, a lot of engine noise, a lot of road noise um, but it's super quick uh, and when you put 300 horsepower in a car that weighs very little it goes like a rocket. Um, so it, it's very quick um, very responsive. You do, you do feel a bit like a racing and driver and you get drawn into probably driving a bit too quickly um, but, you, but you get so much feeling through it. <laughs> uh, why an Italian car? And as you say they're not known for their reliability, they certainly weren't in this era in the 80s and 90s. Um, but again I think the, the rallying history in the family and, and the passion for cars um, I think manifests in, in just the, the, the heart of a car is, is under the bonnet really and, and how it performs rather than reliability or any of those secondary things in the, in the eyes of the aficionado. Um, yes, it wasn't probably as reliable as a Mercedes or an Audi or anything like that, but it just has much more heart. It, it's got much more character. Um, as I say, its competitor at the time was an Audi Quattro which was a, a very, very quick car um, and exceptionally quick, but it just didn't have the, it didn't have the, the character that the Lancia had. This is, this is something special.